This is question number four. We're given f of x is equal to 25x squared multiplied by e to the 2x minus 16, where x is a real number. In part A, it says using calculus, find the exact coordinates of a turning point on the curve with equation y is equal to the f of x. The question carries five marks. The first thing I'm going to state is for turning points for tp, the gradient function dy by dx will be equal to zero. If I look at my function, I can see I've got a product and then a constant. I'm going to use the product rule. If we have y is equal to u multiplied by v, where u and v are both functions of x, the derivative dy by dx will be v multiplied by du dx plus u multiplied by dv dx. You can, of course, use function notation if you like. I'm not going to take the constant. I'm simply going to write now that u will be x squared. The derivative, which is du dx, is going to be 2x. I'm going to take the v term to be e to the 2x. The derivative with respect to x dv dx, that's going to give me 2e to the 2x. I multiply these two and then add to it the multiple of these two. So I can say that dy by dx, the gradient function, bringing back my constant 25, we're going to have 2x e to the 2x plus 2x squared e to the 2x. So plus 2x squared e to the 2x and then differentiating minus 16 will give me 0 and I'm going to add that for completeness. So let's just go ahead and factor this. So dy by dx, we can see now that I can get a factor of 2x e to the 2x out the bracket. That will give me 50x e to the 2x. That's going to leave me now 1 plus x. So if we set this to 0, dividing both sides by 50, x e to the 2x, 1 plus x. So let's consider each of three, these three terms. x is equal to 0 e to the 2x can never be equal to 0 for real values of x, or x plus 1 is equal to 0, x would be equal to minus 1. So we've done this part, they are the x-coordinates, we now need to find the y-coordinates. So we have y is equal to 25x squared e to the 2x minus 16. So let's go ahead and plug these values in and get the y-coordinates. So when x is equal to 0, y will be equal to 25 lots of 0 minus 16. So that gives us now the turning point 0, comma, minus 16. When x is equal to minus 1, so when x is equal to minus 1, y will be equal to 25 lots of minus 1 squared, which is 1. Then we're going to have now e to the minus 2, minus 16. I'm going to write this as minus 1, comma. Now, we can write this as 25e to minus 2, or 25 over e squared, minus 16. So that's the part A done, and that's 5 marks in total. In part B, for 1 mark, we're asked to show that the equation f of x equals 0 can be written now as x is equal to plus or minus 4 fifths e to the minus x. So let's just go ahead and set this equal to 0. So we have 25 x squared e to the 2x minus 16 is equal to 0. I'm going to add 16 to both sides and divide both sides by 25 e to the 2x. So we'll have x squared is equal to 16 over 25 e to the 2x. I'm now going to square root both sides. So I can say now that x will be equal to plus or minus the square root of 16 over 25e to the 2x. That's going to give me x is equal to plus or minus 4 over 5e to the x, which we can, of course, write as x is equal to plus or minus 4 fifths e to the minus x as required. OK, so one mark for that part. In part C for three marks, it says starting with x sub naught equal to 0 0.5, use the iteration formula x sub n plus 1 is 4 fifths e to the minus x sub n to calculate the values of x1, x2 and x3, given your answers to three decimal places. OK, so we have x0, which is 0 0.5. We need now x1, x2 and we need x3. I'm going to set this up on the calculator and we're simply going to plug the values in. 
So on the calculator, I've got x sub 0 is 0 0.5, so let's put that in as my answer. I now have 4 over 5, then I'm going to have e to my answer. Again, you can set it up like so. What we're going to end up with is the next one. So this is x sub 1, 4, 8, 5, double, 2, 4. So 4, 8, 5, double, 2, 4, dot, dot, dot. We need the next one. The next one is going to be x sub 2. 4, 9, 2, 4, 4, 7. So 4, 9, 2, 4, 4, 7, dot, dot, dot. And then finally, we've got x3, 4, double, 8, 9, 0, 3. So let's write that in. 4, double, 8, so 4, double, 8, 9, 0, 3. So we can say 0 0.485, we've got 0 0.492, and we've got 0 0.489. So 489, and they're all to 3 dp. So all to 3 dp as required. Okay, in part D for two marks, it says give an accurate estimate for alpha to two decimal places and justify your answer. So if we continue with this, if we look at this now, this is our iteration formula. If we continue with this, we will see that this is going to settle. So what we want to show essentially is alpha is 0 0.49 to two decimal places. So let's write here alpha is equal to 0 0.49 to 2 dp. Okay, so let's now do the f of 0 0.485, which is going to be the lower bound, and we'll do the f of 0 0.485. 495, which is going to be the upper bound. We want to show a change of sign in the interval, therefore the, out of the root alpha will be 0 0.49 to two decimal places. So what I'm going to do is set this up. We're going to have 25, then I'm going to start with the 0.485. We're going to square that term, then we're going to have e to the 0.485, and then we're going to subtract 16. So hopefully one will be positive, one will be negative, so we end up, let's just check we've got that, we've got zero, uh, so let's go and check we've got all of those in. Uh, so just setting this up, in fact we need this now, uh, we need two lots of this, don't we? So e to the two lots, let's just change that over, and let's do that. So changing that over, that, there we go, that looks a bit better. So we've got 0 0.48 dot 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 dot, which is negative. And then we need now the other one, which is the upper bound, 495. So let's put in 495. And that will give us now, on there, 0 0.485. So 0 0.485, dot, 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 positive. And we can state now change of sign. So do be careful, change of sign. Therefore, alpha is going to be, alpha is equal to 0 0.492 dp. Uh, do be careful, as you see, with my uh, calculator here, I didn't put the e to the two lots of that. Um, just be careful, that value looked slightly high, um, given that there was a root close by. Uh, and I've just sub these values in to show that there's a change of sign in a continuous interval, therefore 0 0.49 to two decimal places.